Should the high school get a $70 million renovation? Yeah, so earlier tonight, the Burlington School District held a town hall meeting at the high school about the proposed renovations, and Local 44's Devin Bates was there. For many staff members and students at Burlington High School, every day comes with a reminder their 54-year-old building is in desperate need of repair. About two weeks ago, walked into the building, and I got a text from someone who was here earlier. Just so you know, the C ramp is out. Oh my goodness, C ramp is out. So why? Leak, rain. Too much rain caused there to be a leak, which caused there to be pools of water, which were dripping into some of the electrical outlets in the ramp where the lights are. Principal Noel Green explained just one issue that could have made an already stressful day even worse for students with mobility issues. Superintendent Yao Obang called it embarrassing, saying we can do better. That's not good enough. That's not good enough for our kids is not good enough for our community, and we need to do better. So we've worked really hard to try to come up with something that we think is as reasonable as possible to present to the community to have some dialogue. Tuesday's town hall in the high school's cafeteria was an attempt by Burlington School District to show potential voters what it's like to work, learn, or teach in a building they say is in dire need of major renovations. One student says the time for change is now. That price tag is, while large at $70 million, is not going to get any smaller. And so each progressive year that we wait, because it, it's inevitable that we're eventually going to need a restructuring of this building, um, that price tag is only going to increase for the taxpayers. In Burlington, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.